Now, the use of infinitesimals at the mid of uh, the 17th century is, uh, uh, is uh, an important uh, topic because it's, uh, um, it shows us, uh, again, why Descartes' results that were very important, of course, were not enough to deal with the problems that uh, uh, mathematicians had in front of them. We discussed the problem of quadrature before. Now, uh, Cavalieri, Torricelli, Pascal, uh, Wallis, and others approached the problem of quadratures by introducing a very difficult notion, the notion of infinitesimal magnitude. The idea is that a curvilinear surface can be conceived of as subdivided into infinitely many infinitesimal surfaces and its area will be given by an infinite sum of areas of these infinitesimal surfaces. So here we see two problems, the problem of infinity and the problem of infinitesimal. So 17th century mathematics is uh, characterized by uh, a rather bold use of infinity and infinitesimals. This holds true for the problem of quadratures, but this holds true also for the problem of tangents, because a tangent to a curve was conceived of as a straight line that passes through two points on the curve that are infinitely close one to the other. So if you have a curve, a circle, let us say, and you have uh, two points on the on this curve that are infinitely close, the tangent will be the straight line to which these two points belong. 